we would like to introduce you to our new Master of International Affairs. The new MIA, the MIA 2.0 as we like to call it, keeps a lot of the elements of our graduate education in International Affairs. We continue to focus on public policy problems without a passport, governance challenges that can only be tackled at the global level. And because these challenges are very complex, we continue our education to be interdisciplinary. Students will receive foundational trainings in international law, in international politics, in economics and in statistics, so that they learn different approaches, different disciplinary tools, but also different languages when approaching those problems. Also, we are a public policy school, so this program is also for students who are very interested in the world of practice. So what we do is we really focus on the professional development of our students. We do that by training transferable skills, for example in professional development workshops, a compulsory internship between year one and year two of studies, or in a professional year that students can take in between the first and the second year of studies. The Master of International Affairs is for students with an interest in international public policy who wish to combine a foundational interdisciplinary training with one of three concentrations. European governance, international security and human rights and global governance. Really what this concentration is about is about the governance of Europe and the governance of the European Union. So the idea therefore is that we want our students to study the European Union, so the institutions that exist in Brussels, but we also want our students to have a good and deep knowledge of how European policy interacts with national capitals, including for example how European policy is developed here in Berlin, in Germany and across Europe. I think this concentration is for students who are passionate about changing Europe. So they might work in all sorts of different sectors, maybe for the European Union, maybe for national governments in different ministries where European affairs is involved. They might work in sectors like in the healthcare sector, in the education sector. But in all of those sectors, the European Union is increasingly an important and decisive actor. So if you want to affect policy change, real policy change, transnationally or nationally within different European states, you have to really know something about Europe and you have to be able to influence how the EU works. The security concentration of the MIA program allows students to study international security in all its dimensions. There are two courses that constitute the heart of the security concentration. One is called War, Peace and Strategy, the other one Conflict and Violence. War, Peace and Strategy gives students an introduction to the formulation and implementation of grand strategy a state's plan to achieve its objectives to protect and promote its national interests in peace and war. The second course is called Conflict and Violence, and here we analyze the determinants, dynamics, and consequences of armed organized violence. For the security concentration, we are looking for students that are deeply interested and passionate in the security dimension of international affairs. The goal is to prepare students for positions that require a profound understanding of today's global security challenges. For example, for jobs in national governments, international organizations, NGOs, think tanks, academia, as well as the private sector. The human rights and global governance concentration of the Master of International Affairs um, is about studying how human rights norms and human rights demands bear on global governance challenges of our contemporary times. So if you're interested in understanding the complexity of global governance beyond the state and how to bridge the gap between normative uh, approaches to global governance and its practice in real time, and if you're interested in how to affect change and reform in our current institutions, and finally, if you're keen to understand how to enhance human rights protections in global governance practices, this course is for you. This course is an excellent fit for students who are interested in pursuing careers in state institutions, international organizations, non-governmental organizations, in the fields of policy, research or advocacy. 
We redesigned uh, the program with those three new areas of concentration for a number of reasons. A, we think these are really the big questions in international affairs today. These are also big questions on which the Hattie School has great visibility. Visibility in research, visibility in outreach and visibility in its centers of competence. Each of those areas maps on directly to one of the centers of competence. Fundamental rights, the Jacques Delors Center on Europe and the Center for International Security. Last but not least, our students, our current cohorts, have signaled to us very clearly that these are the questions that they, as a student community, would be interested in exploring further.